Hello and welcome to Long's Toys. I have a Power Rangers Dino Charge review for you today. This is the 5 inch Dino Charge Megazord figure. I really like the packaging that it comes in. There's a cool picture of him right down here. Although I think it's funny that it is using the shield mode, which neither this figure nor the Megazord can actually form. It only has the blade mode. On the back here, I will zoom in. You can take a look at the graphic and also the little bio here. So there you go. Down here it shows the rest of the figures in the line, which I've already reviewed. So we will go ahead and get the Megazord out of the packaging and take a look. So here he is out of the packaging, and I think he does look pretty good. Now as you may or may not know, they used to have kind of what they called a retro fire line for Megazord figures. Uh, kind of started with like original Mighty Morphin Megazord, and I think that also had like the RPM Megazord and the Wild Force. Uh, the most recent line of Megazord figures had the uh, Legendary Megazord, and then I think they brought back the mold of the um, Gal King or the Wild Force Megazord. That was a retrofire that they brought back, and they also brought back the uh, Thunderzorus Megazord from Dino Thunder. Uh, so what they've done now is instead of continuing a separate Megazord line, they've kind of shrunk down... The Megazord figures to just be part of the normal 5 inch line. I don't think they're actually much smaller, but because the price point is a little bit cheaper, you lose a little bit of detailing. Um, on the front here, I think it does look pretty good. The chest is nicely painted, the head looks pretty nice. The uh, T Rex head on the side here, all the silver detailing is nice. Got the tip here. On the back, it pretty much is just one solid color. Although I do appreciate that the, the T Rex head is completely painted all the way around. It would have looked really weird if just like, you can kind of see the seam right here. If this whole side after the seam was just solid red, cause to look at it head on would have looked weird. So I appreciate that they at least did that. I would have loved the T-Rex tail on the back to be yellow. I understand why it's not, you know, this silver detailing. I mean, really the back of the legs, like from the waist down, doesn't need any detailing cause that's really just red. But if they could have just done this yellow and put the silver detailing in here, I would have been ecstatic. I think that would have been perfect. I never expected painted detail on the arms. It's nice enough that, and I'll try to get in, you can see the detailing molded in. Like you can see the little triceratops head. You can see some of the legs folded up. The, the tail drill is painted. You can see some of the molding here. You can see the little head. So I appreciate that. I never expected there to be molding on the hands. I mean, really, like I said, these are the only two paint apps that I would have loved to see. And then I think it would have been perfect. Not to say it's not a good figure. I'm just saying as far as paint apps go. Uh, basically, he's got the same articulation that the normal 5-inch figures have. Head can swivel from side to side. The shoulders go up and down and all around. You have pretty much 90 degrees at the elbow. The wrists can swivel. No waist movement, same kind of joint here in the uh, in the hip as the shoulder where it can go in and out and all around if you, you might have to manipulate the foot a little bit, but you can do it all around. You got 90 degrees at the knee, and then you do have a ball joint in the foot, which is nice, where the, I should say the ankle. So I think it looks pretty good, and I really do appreciate the paint. I appreciate the level of uh, articulation. I think it's pretty good. Now the one accessory he comes with, is the kind of uh, back of the Stegosaurus that becomes the sword. I don't know why this is red. I appreciate the level of molding. I mean, of course, I would have loved a yellow blade with blue and the yellow spikes. But again, I don't expect that level of paint apps. But then, like, no part of this is ever red. It's part of the Stegosaurus, which is blue, and no part of him is red. So, like, part of it should, the only two colors it should be are blue and yellow. So, even if it was solid yellow, or if it was solid blue, I would have been happy with either of those. Red is just such a weird choice. I assume because the majority of this is red? I don't know. But it fits in his hand very nicely. He can wield it very easily. He looks good holding it. Like I said, you can turn at the wrist so you can give him all kinds of cool poses. So I love the sword as far as the detail, and he can hold it and wield it well. Just the, the color confuses me. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with this figure. I mean, it's a few minor things to nitpick about. But overall, I think it's a great figure. I really like the look of it. It's fun to have a very tiny little poseable version of the Dino Charge Megazord. 
And I know later on they're coming out with a 5-inch figure of all the monsters. And also of when all the Vivix combined into the giant kind of Godzilla looking monster. So it's going to be cool to you could set up like a diorama or, or just have them fight each other. So you can do kind of a Megazord battle on a small scale. So I think that's really cool. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to getting all those monster figures. And having this guy accompany them is going to be really cool. So I love the figure. I recommend it. It's only $9.99 or $8.99 depending on where you find it. Same price as all the other 5 inch figures. For that price, I think it's fantastic. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the 5-inch Dino Charge Megazord figure from Power Rangers Dino Charge. And thanks for watching.